Hey everyone, it's Daniel again. Do you have a robot vacuum that just randomly stops working or gives you this message? Clean the brushes, then press clean. Here's a brief video to correct that issue. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to flip over your robot and we're going to remove these roller brushes here. So when you think of brushes, I think of the bristle brushes, but the issue we're having here is actually these brushes here. You can see that they already have hair on them. We don't even have any pets. So this hair is just accumulated from guests and our own bodies. So you can take these tubes and you could pull out the centerpiece or push in on it. And it is most likely going to be clogged with hair and other types of debris. You will want to be fairly careful when pushing and pulling these center pieces for these rollers. Another thing I'd like you to know is we have owned this robot vacuum for more than a year and a half and it has been absolutely excellent. It vacuums our home two times a week and this is the first time we've ever had to maintain or clean out this roller brush. While doing this maintenance, I also decided to replace that brush that you see in the back there with the three bristles coming off of it and also replace the filter. So I'll make additional videos on how to replace those two items. They're pretty quick and simple and I'll have links down below for the products that I use. I highly recommend using just the OEM products, the ones made by Roomba, because they're really good quality products. So the fact that this is the first time cleaning this out in a year and a half makes me think I should probably start cleaning it out a little bit more. They do offer these rollers with brand new interior pieces um, so that you can just slip them in without having to hassle with anything if you don't want to clean them out. Another great thing that iRobot did was they made the ends on these rollers different. So the maintenance is very simple and it's hard to mess up on it. So you can take these, they only insert one direction. So we'll insert this one there's a different shape on the end of each of them and then we'll go ahead and insert this one. Once you have both of those inserted, make sure they're moving freely in there and then you just press down on this tab on the right hand side. Once you have that tab pressed down, make sure that the rollers are rotating freely and then you are good to go. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe for future videos. I appreciate all of you. Thank you.